Steve, and this is the RV Steve Show. Today on my show, I'm going to replace my crap speakers with better speakers. Now as you can tell, this is the speaker housing for the speakers. Now these speakers were installed back in 1977, so as you can probably guess, they are crappy. Oh, don't want to break anything. You just pull down a little bit on the housing and it should come right out. There we go. There's a, a tab at the top and a tab at the bottom, as you can see. So you take that out first. Now the speaker is exposed inside the housing. You take the speaker out. Oh, not piece by piece, but oh, I'm going to get this out of here if it's the last thing I do. Uh, yeah, well, uh, let's take a break and come back and uh, I should have it out by then. Sounds like a visitor at the door. Let's check it out. Okay, we're back. I was able to put a thumb under here and pry it forward. So it is coming off. Let's see. A little bit of more roughness here. And be able to get that baby out. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now this is one old speaker. Uh huh. Four ohms. This is a tiny crap speaker. Now the speaker I'm replacing it with is an oval speaker, and it's eight ohms, so. I'm sure it'll sound a lot better than that one. So let's move on to our next step, installing the new speaker. Okay, now I have the housing removed. Now I can begin hooking up the wires to the new speaker and placing it in the hole. <laughs> now all I have to do is get that housing over top of it and screw it in we should be good to go rock and roll these tabs were in the way there was no no matter which way I bent them they wouldn't go in so what I'm going to have to do is bend these tabs back and forth Okay, on the second speaker, you can obviously see I had to modify it. Modified both ends. This speaker obviously worked out better. You can see the modifications. I'm going to show you the finished product.
Thanks for watching another episode of RV Steve.